battery this morning, but I'm in a tent, and hopefully I'll have enough uh, battery to be able to show what happens when I leave the tent, because it's awesome. So then we're camped up there. That's the wall leading all the way out. And then in there, there's a castle. This morning, Dad and I have been uh, helping out with organizing things and just sort of moving things up the hill. And looking at this really cool bike rack. Yes. There's a tractor for moving things, but things seem to have slowed down a bit. So I'm going to explore the castle and he's coming with me, I think. So if we head up this hill a little bit, which is right up from that courtyard area, there's a bunch of displays of metal work being set up, such as the giant horse, and lots and lots of stands. And then we actually helped haul some of that stuff up this morning. This bird was the forum piece 2013. 2013. And it's set right in front of that's the palace, right? Or no, that's, that's the forge. That's the forge building up there. And we actually just met the brother of the guy who did this. Well, I just met him. Dad's known him for a while. But I just met the guy's brother. I like it. It's a cute bird. These were uh, some of the pieces that we helped pull up earlier. And speak of the devil, this is the guy that we uh, met earlier. Your brother's piece over there? Yes. Yes. Together. Dad's sculpture again. Some more birds out on this little bridge. And then we enter through the gate into the forge area. This is the forum piece Mikhail made. And for scale, it's like 10 feet, 11 feet tall. It's huge. <laughs> Speaking of Mikhail, he's here working behind the gate. This whole area here is the forge, big design table, and lots and lots of anvils behind. Then up is the watchtower, and back there is the palace. Just down from the forge, there's a bunch of sculptures. I like these birds. And then that giant mass of metal was made by the guy who started the festival. This is one of Lenka's favorite sculptures, this dude here. He was made in 2008 as a forum piece, I believe. Then there's just this whole place. We're gonna head up the watchtower a bit. Should be fun. So we were looking down in the courtyard, down there, and we see this guy with a really big beard and long hair walk by. And so dad goes, oh, John's down there, like as a joke. And I'm thinking, there was a Canadian dude in the shop a couple weeks ago named Krev. That looks like Krev. So we yelled for him, and if I continue up to the top of the watchtower, a Canadian man with a large beard named Krev. Run into people 5,000 miles from home, what do you know? 
<laughs> Having departed from the big watchtower, uh, we're showing Krev around a little bit and then headed to lunch, I believe, afterwards. I'm using Dad as a tripod right now. Lunch has turned into some Rizlina. It's hazelnut and chocolate, which was one of the hardest things I've ever tried to say in Czech. I'm not going to try again. After lunch, I've reconvened with Krev, and we are uh, down visiting the art exhibits here. So much cool stuff. Fly paper. I'm a little out. So I saw this piece and it starts out really cool down here. And then at the top they all come together. Which makes it significantly more challenging of a piece. Krev had to figure out what his accommodations were, so he's down there somewhere with Jan, the director, Jan slash Hansa slash John, depending what language you want to say his name in, and I don't really have anywhere I need to be right now, so just hanging out, checking out the castle wall, might go get some food, we'll see. As we can see, I'm still checking out the castle wall, just this time from outside the castle, which I'm kind of interested to do because it gives a different perspective on the castle. It's like, if you're inside it, yeah, it's fortified, it's cool. But from out here, you can just see how big it is and how impossible it would be as the invading army coming and trying to take this place over. It sort of makes you understand why it didn't get taken until artillery was invented and they could just blow holes in the place. It's really, really cool. The sheer massiveness of this structure. It's like a good 40 feet up on that wall. Made it the whole way around to the castle, now back in. And I'm up kind of on one of the towers. So cool. For about the past three hours-ish, um, there's been a band on the stage over there singing and playing super loud and they're really quite good. They've got guitar, drums, violin, it's been fun. So now, uh, I spent during that time, I hung out with Krev a little bit, walked around the castle as I showed, and um, met some Swedish guys, which is really fun. So now, we've come up and learned that the dragon made it from Nove Hradi, as did the nails back there. So I guess Daniel loaded them into the truck and brought them here, which is cool.